to my place. Want the surgeon for joy, don't crash. Check me. Honestly, guys, I used to be an absolute nervous wreck driving to the airport. I used to have my sat nav on, just be like this the whole time. Now look at me. Come a long way, you know. The little things. This is a pain though. Having a UK car, when you come up to a ticket stop. Good job there's no traffic. So I'd be getting pipped at. So I literally have to climb over to get the ticket. Ooh. And then race for the barrier. Here I am at the airport picking hubby up. He's ready and waiting. I can see him. I'm a tad late. Oh, he's waving. <laughs> so anyway, today's video is actually the house tour. Even though we're in the car, we're going to do it together. I thought that'd be nice to do it together. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you like set off? What? I set off when you said, when you texted me. When I texted you, said, you I said I've landed. Yeah. I think I thought you might. I've had a lot to do this morning. To be honest, um, I've only just got out. Passport control. Well, that always now. happens because when you tell me to get here for a certain time, you always leave me waiting anyway, and then we have to pay at the thing. So I thought. Passport you know, control in it a minute. Set off at my time, and it'll be perfect. First. First time he's asked me for a residency card today. Oh really? And uh, he was saying, "Where's your stamps and your passport?" I said, "I've been in England since August, mate." Ah, oh, okay. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. He was so, like, "Why are you in France?" I said, "Jabiti, see." <laughs> Obviously. Hey, it's just me in the shop. Did you know? Hi, girls. So we've got the Are you house joshing? tour today, hon. Huh? Why do we always do oh, alright. What? They were just stood there doing nothing. Come on, move! Move it! Chill out. You excited for the house tour? Is that what, are we doing that today? Is it today? Yes. I've been putting it off forever and ever because I keep thinking, oh we'll just get that room done, or we'll just get that for there, or we'll just make a start on the gardens or never gonna happen is it there's always gonna be something to do so today's the day guys you're gonna see it how it is which will be good because you'll see how much we've got to do what we've already done and then we can just share the whole journey with you yes um so yeah it is what it is there's loads that needs doing obviously but perfection doesn't exist and I'm excited to share the journey as well, like do the rooms up that need doing with you and I can just vlog it all from now. I wish I'd have started this earlier. I wish I'd have vlogged properly from the beginning. From the beginning. Even, even before, finding the yeah, house. Yeah, even finding it, the whole process, moving about because we just travelled and lived in different places on the Riviera for about a year, didn't we? We even went to Saint Tropez and spent a chunk there and it would have been so good to start it then. Yeah. Although I don't think I was in the right headspace to do it then because there was already, already too much going off and so much uncertainty, weren't they? Um, so yeah, it starts now anyway. No time like the present. You know what I've noticed? From being in Germany where it's freezing cold still, mm. we've got a bit of a south of France glow. You might have, I haven't. Mine's all Charlotte Tilbury swish and glow, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no natural glow, I'm so pale. You have. You go on your bike and stuff though, don't you? Certainly do. That's why we moved here. Where do 
we start then? Should we go right to the bottom or start from the gate? From the gate. We'll start from the gate. <laughs> so, we spin the camera. We're at the gates with Burke and Sock crew. Yes. And Come in. This is our wonderful home. I'm going to put a before picture in so you can see what it was like before, but so far we have painted the outside and painted the um, shutters and doors because they were blue before as you can see. Um, the drive is a major one on the list but we need the... Explain it by what do we need doing? Right so we've, uh, we've currently got two septic tanks Yeah. and they need to be hooked up to the mains. Yeah. So we've got to get in touch with the local uh, sewage guys You've already tried, haven't you? It's just yeah. a bit of a nightmare. So. They don't speak French. I'm yeah. not quite there yet. We're on with it though. So once that gets done, obviously they're going to have to um, dig all the drive up anyway. So we'll get that done at the same time, hopefully this year. Um, but we'll see. So we go up the side steps. That is to the main door. Uh, do you want me to film you? Because you're doing the tour. Okay. Dogs. I've always wanted to say that. Come on in. Dogs. Come on. So, this is obviously the main room. It's like, it's like the heart of the home, isn't it? Where we spend most of our time. The biggest room of the house and the most used. Help me out. Yes. The communal area. <laughs> <laughs> So we've not done loads in here. We have done a big job actually. We changed the fire. I'll put some befores in, but that was a stony built old fire. So we took that out when well, my dad took it out actually. Yeah. He came over to help us at the beginning, didn't he? Yep. Um, and then we made a very naughty purchase with the fire. I think that was you actually, wasn't it, more than me? It was a joint decision. I, I, we wanted a log burner, and I says, ooh, what about cream log burner? I fancy a cream one instead of a black one. So we was Googling cream log burners, and Ryan found this one, and then obviously he showed me, and I was like, oh my God, we need that in our life. Don't forget to tell the story. What? So... We, oh, yeah, before story. before we bought the log burner, we built an amazing surround. Yeah. In fact, it's just here. <laughs> we built all this, all there. The box, yeah. We built a big box, and then the log burner turned up, and it wouldn't fit. The log burner came, and it was a lot bigger yeah. and more exquisite than we realised. So we was like, we just can't cover that up. It can't be in a box. It needs to be just stood alone. So the box came down. We used most of the timber yeah, we should put on, it back up here. on this Covered box. That up. Um, and the telly fits perfect. Yeah, because the telly was also going to go above the fire, um, but obviously it would be too hot and blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Yeah, that was that little hurdle over with. So we changed the position of the telly, put a new fire in. Other than that, all we've done is um, painted everywhere white because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with this room when it came to decorating white. So I just said, paint it all white, leave it all fresh until I decide what to do with it because we hope to take this wall out here which that one's through to the kitchen, which I'll take you through to in a sec, but we want to like open it up and make it one huge room and have like an island and new kitchen, things like that. Anyway, to the balcony. One of the favorite bits, which came and stood out here, didn't we? When we were looking around the house and we were just like, was this at the point when I said to you, I want this one. No, it was the opposite way around. Oh, was it? Yeah, because this was a selling point for me. Yeah. This was a bit where I walked out and like, shit, I could see the sea. 
This is amazing. I want this one. Yeah. No, 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 don't put it like that. It's got a sea view. Well, it's classed as a sea view, but I mean, I have to really, really look carefully. You must have some bad eyesight. Some days you see it, some days you don't. I can see it, it's just there, look. Yeah, you Over can there. see it today. Just there. <laughs> but no, we do love this. We use it every single day. We have a need a bit of furniture for out here and some forget the name of them, Brian, what they're called, the blinds that come down. Um, you seem to think pergolas. they're called pergolas. I'm sure they're called pergolas. I don't think, yeah, they might be, but anyway. I think pergola is a different thing. I think it's like you a... You know what I mean, guys, don't you? It's like the sun canopy it, It's things. a sun canopy, look. They yeah. go in there. We've got none up at the minute, because when we um, moved in, there were blue and yellow striped ones in there, so they came down. They're in cave. Why aren't you chucked? Oh, because they're still attached to the main mechanism. Yeah. Yeah. So we need some new pergolas. I'm going to call them then. Yeah. Um, and we need a bit of furniture and then we're pretty much done out here. But we use it. We come out here a lot because it comes off the front room. And yeah, we, when we were renting places last year, we stayed at a house with a balcony similar, didn't we? Yeah. But um, you could only access it through the bedrooms and we never used it, did we? So no. it's nice that you can get to it this way because... Like I say, we're always out here. Love I'm that. out here every morning doing my yoga. You right do. there. You do? We tiled Good this morning. as well, by the way. Yeah, we did. It had that colour tiles, terracotta, yeah. big squares, 300s, and we changed them to this. Yeah. I love these tiles. I want these everywhere. In, in so many more places in the house. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, they're beautiful. I feel like the um, they just go with... Like old style, new style, they're just really easy, aren't they? They certainly are. And they're not overly expensive. What are they called? Uh, travertine. Mm. Yeah, I love them. So, yes, that's the uh, balcony, guys. One of the favourite bits. Let's go back inside them, out of the scorching what? sunshine. What is the temp today? It must be about 18 it degrees. Must be about 18, yeah. It's very warm. So, kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Do you want to walk? I'll film for a bit. You walk to the kitchen, honey. Show everybody your new coffee machine that you bought us the other day. So, the, well, first of all, let's walk into the kitchen and let's discuss what we did in. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, what we did is painted all of the units. Yeah. Because they were... They were like an oak colour, well, weren't they? Well, if you open them, they that's what colour they were. Yeah. Yeah, like a light oak, mm -hmm. which is not bad, but we want them to change. Um, yeah, we'll paint it with a paint called French Chic, very good. Amazing, if you don't already know about French Chic. Yeah, the Lazy it's, Range. It's just an incredible paint to work with, even the decorator said that, didn't Because it? these, these ones are actually laminated, right? Which means you should normally have to prime them. We didn't even sand them. No, you and can just paint it straight on. Such brilliant paint. Yeah. Paint, paint metal and everything with it, can't you? Yeah, everything. The lazy range it's called. We changed all the handles, all this. And the tiles. And pink tiles. Because they were like multicoloured. Yeah, they were horrible. We've got a before picture, haven't we? Yeah, I'll put that in. And um, then uh, and yeah. a slight green wall. Yeah, the reason, the reason for just tarting it up, actually, is because... We want to take this wall out here. Yeah, this one. Um, and open it up as a big kitchen, open plan living space and put yeah. like an island in and stuff. But obviously, that's not going to be straight away. So for now, we just thought, tart it up. And yeah, quite happy with it, are you? Love it. Pink and green. So I'm going to make a coffee <laughs> in my new coffee machine. You earned some, earned some mega points the other day, didn't you? Yeah. He literally just turned up home and said, oh, I've got something for us. We've got a coffee machine. Because I was sick of the huge coffee machine that we had on here, which was really complicated to use. I never used it. Took up so much space. So he came in with this little cute one to match the kettle. Yeah. Little Mother's Day present for me. That's it. Love it. I'm gonna ask the guys if they want a coffee. Do you want coffee? <laughs> Call me 
Barista. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Are you doing that while we're in the kitchen? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, lovely. Right, come on then. Let's go. So, out of the kitchen. And <laughs> um, down the corridor. So, we'll start first door on the right. This is the main bathroom. So the toilet's not in here, the toilet's actually next door. We've not really done anything in here actually. Um, yeah, it's all right. Don't need doing. Yeah, we don't have to know it here. We don't have way. Just no. It was already the colour that you like. It was already this like blush pink, yeah. Um, oh no, we did take a unit out of there, didn't we? Like a fixed unit and then we put this armoire in. Yeah. Which is amazing storage for my makeup and everything. Um, and yeah, that's it basically. That is the main bathroom. So we've got shower, we've got bath and one sink. And then next door is the little toilet. Yeah. Just bank light on. Le toilet. So there you go. We've got the little loo, which again, what have we done? We've freshened it up, we've painted it white, and we've added these accessories in here, mm. really, which make it. These are from a shop called uh, Maison de Monde, which I've got a video coming up actually about their store on Wednesday's vlog. Yeah. So, yeah, that is it. That is the little loo. What's next? The next door is just a cleaning cupboard. It's where the ironing board is. The Hoover will not open that because everything might just bulge out, you know. Um, next is my office. Oh yeah, go and sit on your chair. <sighs> Which is Come in. you most days. Come into my office. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat. <laughs> so yeah, this is the office. We've just freshened it up, paint. We put this picture rail up. Um, but we've not finished in here, have we? We need some... I want to wallpaper that wall. Yeah, maybe this wall as well, I think. No, I don't want to wallpaper that wall. Oh, do you not? No. Okay. I want to well, wallpaper that wall. What my plans are for my office... Alright, sorry. Yeah, is... <laughs> I'm going to wallpaper that wall. Mm -hmm. I bet you use the wallpaper that I suggested though, don't you? The book one. Well, I thought the bookshelf paper or the world map paper. Yeah, the world map probably. Which uh, would match which your, my, uh, your Del Boy, Del Boy drinks cabinet, which has nothing in it. Which has got no drinks in there. <laughs> no. Someone's been doing dry January, February and March, haven't you? Yeah. But yeah, this is where you spend most of your days, isn't it, hon? Yes, it is. Yeah. So yeah, we're due to decorate in here and just finish it off. Um, but at the minute, we just freshened it up and put your bits in, didn't we? We did, and this is full of money. No, nah, we, we wish. Yeah, we wish it will just fall out, it'll all fall out, can't you open the door? <laughs> no, I think there's just passports in there, isn't they? And money, <laughs> loads, millions. <laughs> right, then across we've got Seth's room which I love this room. There's a couple of rooms that are my favourite in the house. And I was trying to think why, because it's not the way that they're decorated, it's the way that they feel when you're in here. So this is one of them. The front room's the other one. And the other one is the upstairs, which I've not shown you yet. And I was thinking, why have they got another, like a feeling that no other room has got? And I think it's because they've got the most natural light. Because Seth's room is positioned right in the centre of the house. There's no trees or anything, you get loads of light in here. It's always like a nice temperature, isn't it? Mm. It's just lovely. Um, but yeah, anyway, decorating wise, we've done in here, it's finished. We've gone for like a... Coggy. Oh, I don't know. Call it Coggy. Is it like, coggy is it field. called a steampunk? Yeah, it's steampunk, that's what it is, yeah. Um, it were all a bit unplanned, to be honest. We picked the wallpaper first it was between two i liked this one and seth liked it but he preferred this one so i was like oh well why don't we get both and do one on each wall so that's what we did and then we've just built the accessories up along the way haven't we mm -hmm. really 
But no, yeah. it's it's one room that we can call finished. Almost. Other than his gaming pictures, we need to get a couple of gaming pictures for that wall just to go under that one. Um, but yeah, it's done. And he loves it. He's happy, isn't he? Oh, he loves it. He loves this area the most. He never moves from that. It's a struggle getting him off this area. If his bed was there, he'd sleep there. Yeah. He has the headphones on, he's very noisy, always shouting, and we're always saying, shut your door. But yeah. Um, so that's that. That's the boys' room. Then next door is... Come on. Out. Fancy Nancy's room. This is also just about done, I'd say. Well, um, there's anything to it, yeah. Well, she could just do with some shelves and a couple of pictures and that's it, a couple of accessories, but no. This was, was it the first room done in the house, this one? Yeah. The, we did both the kids' rooms first. Nancy's got finished first and then we did Seth's and she's got a little... This needs doing now, the toilet. Yeah, it does. She's it's got a little long suite. It's not desperate because it's, you know, it's clean and it's working. Um, but yeah, she don't really use it to be honest. She brushes her teeth in here, but she's never used the shower. She gets scared. <laughs> she says it's scary. It feels a bit cold in there actually, isn't it? It's not in summer though, is it? No. It's just a winter thing. So that's her room. Um, let me talk you through the process of doing this room actually, because it just evolved a little bit. So again, we started by picking the wallpaper, which is... Probably how I start decorating mouth rooms, isn't it? I'll choose the wallpaper first. Yeah. And then the rest just flows. It just seems to come together. So wallpaper, I can't remember the name of it, but I will. I'll get it and I'll pop it in for you. It was from a shop called Premier Paints in Doncaster, where we used to live. So we ordered it when we knew we were coming to move here and... Then did they deliver it or did we bring it with us? We brought it, didn't we? Mm. Um, and these fabulous curtains. The curtains, yeah, we had made over here. Yeah. Which are like a really heavy, like crushed velvety material. Could have bought a new bike for the same price. Give up. Um, then we painted the doors purple. And this is like an old antique chandelier. We've got a few oldie furniture bits. This over the bed canopy was made because there's actually an aircon box under there which looks really ugly. So I wanted to cover that up somehow. So we found the, is it called a corniche? Yeah, we bought the corniche. From a brocant. Yeah, brocant. from a brocant. Um, and then my dad made the box for it to go on. Out of some old scaffolding boards. Yeah. And then we painted it in French chic again yeah and then we added a bit of wax to it after just to give French it a bit of wax as well age and it just covers the aircon box up but the aircon box is obviously we can still use it under there we just pull the curtains across yeah but yeah I think it's worked quite well right so out of Nancy's room and next door on this side is this one which is downstairs to our quarters. Yes, this is the uh, <laughs> servants' quarters. quarters. <laughs> so here, the first bit that you see is like the little wash area. Still got lots to do, obviously. I'd love some built-in cupboards for in here, so the washer and dryer can be like hidden. Um, but yeah, that is the washing area, really. It is. So that still needs to go up, my very tired washing lady. Um, then into our room, not done much in here to be honest, other than freshened the walls up and changed the curtains and just basically freshened it and cleaned it up into yeah, it. Yeah, we've not, yeah. Yeah, but we've not put any thought into it. Everything that's in here is from the last house, all the bedding and everything like that. Yeah, it's just pretty plain at the minute. Need yeah. a light for above the bed. Um, we need to retile the floor. Yeah, I want that. We need to take the cut, just rethink it all. It all needs redoing down here. Yeah, but it's not desperate. It's clean and tidy, isn't it? It's mm. fine for now. 
Um, the tiles, I'd love the, what do you call them again? Travertine. Travertine down here again. Um, and then we just got a little, is it? Yeah, we'll have to strip off skirting off and everything. Little en suite there, which is just Ryan's bathroom, isn't it, really? Yeah. That's what you use when you come out at the gym and whatever. You don't really use main bathroom, do you? Never. So, yeah, there's just toilet and shower in there. Pretty basic, really. And then you come out of our room, past the little wash area, round the corner, and this is the dressing room, which is not finished. I've basically just tarted it up because eventually, I don't know if I've said this before, but I'd like the, um, what are you faffing with, hon? I'm just faffing with that light. I'd like nice built-in wardrobes in here, like a proper dressing room, but again, it's further down the list, isn't it? There's no urgency. Yeah, that print does need going up along with the other ones that I've got, but I've not got frames for them yet, so I'm just hanging on. But yeah, it's painted, it's fresh, it's girly, it's got all my stuff, it does its job. It's just my cute little dressing room. I'm quite happy with it. I've never had dressing room for all my stuff before. No. So yeah. Oh, we will, fact, no, we, we did. Get fitted. We had one at the other house, didn't we, where I kept all my stuff, but it did have a bed in there. It was like the guest room, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. it weren't really a dressing room. No. It was the size of this room. And it yeah. was what people used to stay in. So yeah, I've still got this drawers here to paint because we ran out of paint. We used the paint on these two. So I might not get pink for that one. I might get purple <laughs> and then these doors lead to outside to the front well we may as well show up jim while we're here aren't we we'll go to the cave his man cave this was the first thing we painted in the whole house what? can you remember i didn't know it was the first thing yeah. no no we actually painted the outside of the house first didn't we no. Oh, I can't remember. This was the first thing because we wanted to get the gym ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you were petrified of the colour. <laughs> Come into the cave. Yeah. This Fire. is where the magic happens. So this used to be a garage. And now, look at it. It's a fabulous training space. You love it, don't you? I do, yeah. Look at it. It's Spend amazing. a lot of hours in here. Not me, you. Yeah, me. I keep saying I'm going to spend a lot of hours in here, but it doesn't happen. So yes. what you got? You got your punch bag. Punch bag. You got your bike. Would you say you like your bike best? No. No? Well, I prefer going outside on bike. Yeah. Treadmill's probably my favourite thing in here. Yeah. Yeah, give it a little jog on here. Go on then, show us your I've got gym in action. Burks and socks. <laughs> yeah, love it. This were actually in the house, wasn't it, when we bought it? The um, cross yeah. trainer, yeah. Nordic track, very good machine. Very lucky. Yeah. Because the previous owners actually lived in America, didn't they? So mm. they left all the stuff included yeah, in the sale, which a lot of it's gone, but we obviously kept the machine. Yeah. Um, got these cute little lights on the wall. Still not got the one light I wanted. No, we'll get that. I wanted one that says normal gets you nowhere. I thought it were really cool. Yeah, it's cool. We've book. got um, family boxing gloves in here. Have you actually had yours on? <laughs> Once. <laughs> what, were that on your own in here? One time I've used them. No, I'm going to make it my mission this year. I need to get fit again. Um, you got all your trophies there, haven't you, honey? I have. Yeah? Yeah, very pleased with that. It's not trophies, the medals, because I didn't win. Oh, sorry. They're medals. just for finishing. You're always my winner. Yeah. <laughs> then we've got the little... This is where we keep bike the bikes shed. and stuff and whatever. And then in here, give me the camera, please. This is the cave. Very spooky, but it's a great place for keeping all your shit. <laughs> Lovely. So, shall we go 
Through to the jungle. The jungle? To show them the jungle. Yeah. So here we've got the jungle guys. We're on the drive now, which goes up to this corner. We go down these little steps here. I bet you've never even been down here. I think I can. Look, it goes right into that corner. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna like utilize all this space really, but that's just brain ache at the minute, isn't it? I'd rather you should be from here to there. Yeah, probably. And then you can come down this bit. Oh, it's a bit scary down here, I think. Do you know, I actually thought this was an aloe vera plant because I said to Ryan, just last week actually, I was like, when we get around to doing the garden, that plant's coming out. He went, no way, you can't take that out, it's an aloe vera plant. I was like, is it? If it is aloe vera, we're obviously keeping it for aloe vera juice and stuff like that. So we cut a stem off it and a leaf. Unfortunately, it's not aloe it's vera. A Garvey. so yeah original plan it's gonna come out it's not really my vibe you know um probably only about 10 years old cactuses aren't really my vibe either it's a prickly pear it's a what it's called a prickly pear oh prickly pear ain't my vibe either a prickly pear cactus yeah we've got a lot to do in the jungle don't really know where to start look at this tree massive look at the sight like the bark on it it just looks old crazy right. so then we should we go this way yeah go this way and then we'll go up into the back yeah so this is the other side of the house hey should we show them boiler why just show them boiler why it's a man thing have a look at my boiler Massive. Gorgeous, yeah. Have you ever seen a boiler that big? Uh, no. Keep your little combi. Look at that. Lovely boiler there, honey. The right boiler. Lovely. Then we go up the steps. We've put like this little wood fence in. Doggy fence. Around just for now, just to keep the dogs in. That's Ray's office through there. Go on then. And you Open come the round to the back. So that's just the kitchen there, which you've seen. So this is just the outside of the kitchen little area. Then you've got these steps. I want to retile these steps and this little area as well eventually into a routine. Yeah, a bit of um, So this is the cute little balcony area. And we've then got we've loads got... of travertine left. Oh, have we? Mm. Right, into the granny flat. Here we go, guys. It's very little and cute. We are in process of doing this, actually. So it's all been freshened up with paint, um, but we're having a new kitchen in here, aren't we? Yeah. Which is quite way. high up on the list, actually, because the way that the kitchen's been fitted, it's not maximising the space. We're going to have the kitchen all along the back wall, aren't we, instead? Yeah. Coming around this side. New along little... the back wall, get rid of this unit, and then there's all this space to walk around and prepare food in. Well, not all this space, but yeah, there'll be well, more, won't yeah. there? It's all compared to this. Yeah. This gets in the way. But I think we'll be able to fit a little washer in there and stuff, won't we? So yeah, new kitchen. We've changed all the tiles in here. So we've put the travertine down, but the bigger tiles throughout. That's the little bathroom, by the way, which all we've done is changed the floor. It's really old in there. It's got the old suite in. Um, so yeah quite high up on the list is change the kitchen and the bathroom, just get a little new one so it's nice for when people come to stay. And then the bedroom. 
which we've just put the beds in. Yeah, this is done, isn't it? No, I need wallpaper. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, I basically just got to decorate it. It's all been freshened up. We've painted the beams out, haven't we? And um, yeah, it's just clean and fresh now. But I want it decorating, so I'm gonna get some wallpaper for this back wall. And a curtain. I saw a lovely lace. When I say lace curtain, it sounds me and done it, but yeah. it were a beautiful lace, like French lace curtain. Yeah, it's not like there. your Nana's old net. No. So yeah, Lace I just need to decorate it. Best views of the house in this room as well, isn't it? Yeah. Open up the doors. Oh yeah, that is a fabulous view. I love this room. I love it. I come up here on my own just to edit videos. Good place it's just such a nice feel. And it's obviously away from the kids and you. <laughs> So you've got your man cave and this is a bit like my lady cave, isn't it? Or it is when it's done. Lady cave. Sounds like a place I'd like to visit. <laughs> creep. What a creep. <laughs> so yeah, that's the little upstairs, guys. Um, that's just storage in there. We've got loads of storage. Oh yeah. Um, I've sure got a chunk, has it? Yeah. Oh God, Look at that. so full though. Holy shit. Do we hinch in that? So then down the stairs. And got a little barbecue area. That's another little level up there, just where my washing line and stuff is. So that there is the door that we came through when we started, just around that side. And then we go up the steps. There's just so many dead plants and stuff that need all pulling out. They're a struggle for you, them steps, aren't they? And then we've got the pool area. One job I told Ryan to do, I said, please clean the pool out. He left it right until the day when he was going away and then he realised that our net's gone. So I think the pool cleaning ones took it with him. So the plan for up here basically is just retile it all. I mentioned like leveling this bit of the garden off in the corner because it's a bit of a wasted bit of garden there. So I'd level it all off and we can have like a um, little bar area and whatever. Ryan wants to make the pool bigger, um, which I don't see the point in doing really, but that's because I only dip my feet in or have a little dip occasionally. I don't really use it. But I can see why he wants to, because he actually swims, he's into his triathlon, so if we did make it bigger, that's why, but I ain't fussed. Then we come down the steps. And that is pretty much it, you've seen it all now. That's the house tour done, finally. I've been talking about it for so long, but I'm so glad I've showed you around. I'm excited to share the journey with you. You've seen what we've done, you know what we've got to do. And yeah, happy days. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.